Hey guys, just want to do a quick unboxing of a new soldering iron I picked up. It's the Sane Smart Pro 32. Uh, it's the same thing as a TS100, which is pretty popular too. Uh, you might have seen Final Glide mentioning that in his uh, tutorial on how to update KISS ESC firmware. Anyway, uh, I just saw that and I knew I had to pick one up too because uh, every portable soldering iron I've used always sucked. Anyway, uh, this thing is the same as that TS100. The difference being it comes with an AC adapter, which I thought would be handy to have, and it's for the same price, and I was able to order it locally here in the U.S. So that's a nice advantage over having to order it through Banggood and wait forever. Anyway, let's uh, just do a quick unboxing here and see what's inside. It's kind of a cool box. Got a manual. And look how small this thing is. This is the unit itself. It's identical to a TS100. Uh, it's got the OLED display. And uh, I went with a sort of a chisel tip there. Kind of the same thing I would have on my, my usual Hako soldering station. And underneath we've got AC adapter. This is what you get for the same price as a TS100. So you don't have to go searching for a separate adapter. And an Allen key and some extra screws. All right. So I will go ahead and put this together and show you how it works. Be right back. All right, team. So I've got this thing together. I still can't get over how small it is. Check this out. These are my other previous options for soldering in the field. A little Benzomatic and this portable Hako one that runs off of uh, regular alkaline batteries. These things, they suck. Uh, this one is terrible. And this is mediocre at best. Tip isn't the best. It's a real fine tip. Don't like it. It doesn't hold heat well. It works in a pinch, but it's, it's no comparison, especially if you're spoiled to, you know, something like the usual Hako uh, soldering station, the FX triple eight d that everybody has. Um, really hoping this thing will be just as great in the field. I've heard so many good things about it, so there it is all put together. What's really great, besides having that AC adapter, is uh, you can pick up something like this from GetFPV. It's a little barrel connector, so you can plug it into your uh, LiPo packs in the field, and then just power it off of that. So you have power in the field and a digital soldering iron right there in a tiny package. I can't get over how small that thing is. Let's uh, power it up and see how it does. Okay, so I've got this thing hooked up to a 4S LiPo. I also went ahead and connected it to my laptop. I read the manual and it shows that you can connect by this little USB port on the back and change the parameters as you see fit. I went ahead and set mine to Fahrenheit since that's what I'm familiar with here in the US. And uh, anyway, it's uh, hooked up to a 4S LiPo that's only about 50% charged right now. Let's see how it does. All right, so it's telling me to push this button. Here it goes. I'd say it's heating up just as fast as my uh, Hako soldering station. And it's just going to go to the default, which is like 570 so. Degrees. See that little thing? It's telling you it's still heating. That's pretty neat. You can see that. There we go. And then the little icon changes to let you know it's reached the temperature that is set. I'm going to go higher than that though. Let's see how easy that is to do. Look at that. That is really cool. Set it to like 5, 8, 680 or so. There it goes at temperature in like well under a minute. This is great. Okay, I'm going to give it a try. I have some ESCs to work on. Uh, usually I use the Hako, but uh, I want to be able to solder in the field if I have any repairs to make or anything like that. So let's see how it does. And I will give you my final thoughts in just a minute here. All right, I had a chance to play around with this thing on a couple of quick soldering tasks. I did some uh, XT60 connectors on, I think it was a 12 gauge wire, and it handled it just fine, along with some uh, KISS ESCs I had to update. 
And uh, I'm loving this thing. I mean, if I didn't already have a Hakko soldering station here like that, uh, if I was looking for a better soldering iron, like if you just have, you know, your basic plug-in soldering iron that doesn't have any temperature control, this thing is amazing. I can't get over how easy it is to use, how small it is, and how versatile this thing is. I mean, to be able to use a LiPo pack in the field and have digital temperature control versus, you know, these little junkers where you don't really know what you're getting. The tips aren't really terrific and the temperature control is horrible. I mean, this thing is great. It's so small, it's super easy to use, and, you know, you can change the parameters of things like uh, setting it to Fahrenheit like I did. I love it. Uh, it's even got a little grounding screw there if you need to you know, take any ESD precautions if you're working on any sensitive electronics too. So, great little deal for 50 bucks if you're in the market for either a portable soldering iron or just something better. I highly recommend it. Really happy with it, guys. Alright, if you found this helpful, please give me a like and subscribe. Take care.